This question is for any or all three of you. How was senior night, even though it's different than all the other years, of course? What made it special, and how did you guys feel coming out with the win? I thought senior night was great today, and the people that made it special for me was definitely my teammates and being able to walk out with them and share this moment with them. And it was a little different because we didn't really have the packed stadium that we usually have with all of the fans. So that was different, but I thought that the family and everybody that was in the stands made it a great night for me. So. Yeah, I just to echo that. I think that um, our teammates really made it special. You know, our, our parents, or at least my parents, I can say, weren't able to make it. Um, and they weren't able, obviously, to walk us down. So having uh, our teammates hooked in our arms, each side was really sweet. And I've been feeling it all day. So everyone on the team has been making it really special. So. Yeah, and going off mixed point, like especially this year more than ever, teammates are our family, so we got them cheering for us, and yeah. that just is the most special thing in the world. And Nicole, to get the start tonight, how special was that for you? That was something I never thought would happen in like my wildest dreams, just being a part of this program in general, and just all of the special moments it's brought me is just uh, it's hard to put into words. <laughs> How'd you find out you were getting the start? Uh, coach, uh, in our like circle before practice on Wednesday, uh, Coach... Uh, brought us all together and uh, told everyone, so it was, it was really exciting. <laughs> awesome. And looking ahead to Sunday's game for any of three of you, you guys are wearing the special social justice shoes and the pregame warm-up T-shirts. What are your thoughts on that? Do you want to continue wearing them past Saturday or Sunday and whatnot? Um, we know just in terms of Sunday, it was uh, it's the debut for the um, for the artist's work, Kamika. She did a great job on all of our shoes and all of the shirts. I mean, hand-painted each and every single one of them. So we're extremely grateful for, for that and for her and for all the hard work she's put in for that. Um, we're not sure what that means moving forward. We just know this is the first day we're rolling them out. But um, the shoes look amazing. The shirts look amazing. We all love them. We're sure everyone else is going to love them, too. So we're going to have to see what's moving forward. But um, if we're allowed to, we would love to keep wearing them because they look great. And the message behind the shoes and the shirts? I think the message behind both of them was probably, like, the biggest thing for all of us. And um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are just not quite sure exactly how to tackle and just talk about social justice issues. And I think just kind of breaking the barrier immediately with something like having our shirts and, you know, you can ask us about it and that's a good way to get a conversation going. And I think that's the best way to, to educate is to be able to talk with other people and learning that way. So um, for that, I think it's going to be amazing. And again, like a lot of people have already asked us about it. So it's already doing what it's supposed to. Great. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. Okay, we'll go next to Anthony Anderson from the South Bend Tribune. Hi, ladies. Congratulations. Uh, Mick, the, uh, I think it was in the second quarter, you made a spin move to the basket. Uh, it looked as, about as spry as you've looked at any time. Uh, how, how good are you feeling right now? Oh, God. I feel pretty good. You know, I mean, just getting – not even – I mean, we're obviously – towards the end of our season, but this season has been so weird for all of us, having stops and not having our preseason how we would used to. So um, I feel pretty good in general. I've been feeling pretty good all season, but um, maybe a little pep in my step for senior night. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I know about Destiny and Nicole, but uh, have you made a decision as to whether this is it or not yet? I'm still considering. I'm not quite sure, but I think it might be. Uh, Nicole, you uh, you came out and uh, Florida State still had not scored, so uh, and you almost had a steal on the first, uh, I believe, defensive possession. Uh, how good did it feel not, not just to get that start, but uh, really be part of a, a lot of early success in the game? No, it was great to get out there and just get to play with my my team on the floor and everything. And I'm glad we got the win, and I'm glad we got off to you know a good start. Benz is a great teammate, and it was it just means a lot for us to be able to play games with her. I mean, we get to do practice with her all the time, but it was really special for all of us to get that together. So, And she killed it. So, <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Okay, and we'll go now to Pete Byrne. Pete, go ahead. Hi, uh, this is for Mick and Destiny. Uh, you guys beat a pretty good team tonight. They were ahead of you in the standings. They just had a top five win. I'm just curious how important you think this is for your overall resume. You guys are now top five in the ACC. you, you got to feel like you're putting yourselves late in the season in a good place. Yeah, I thought this was a really big one for us, and I'm proud of us for um, – starting early and everybody had contributions tonight. I think we had like five or six players in double figures and 
Everybody played hard, so I was proud of everyone tonight. Everyone knew going into this game that this was going to be a big one for us, and I thought that that's how we came out. Uh, I don't. I don't think we finished the game how we would have liked to. We we should have kept our lead, and we we need to make sure we're doing a better job on defense to holding it throughout the game. But uh, this, like you said, is a, an extremely and like Destiny said, a huge win for all of us. Um, and against a team that could have, you know, like you said, put us somewhere, maybe not in the top five, you know. So um, great win. We're super excited. And we're going to use that to propel us into Sunday. And and for any of you, um, one game left in the regular season, and then it's postseason. You didn't get a postseason last year, but but now that you can see it in the not too distant future, do things start to feel different this time of year? I don't know. Uh, we'll let you know when we <laughs> when we get uh, another one that we need to get to see where we're at in the postseason. But um, right now, it's feeling like all these games are extremely crucial, and that's our biggest focus for sure.